Greetings and salutations, Johnny Mac, Locker Metal Plus. Um, here with a video, obviously, because it's a video. Things and stuff, I don't know. Right, um, if you're new to the channel, all right. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, I will do a, an update for my 500 subscribers contest thing, because it's gone a bit quiet, because I'm a lazy fucker. Um, but... Talking of, look at that for the segue, subscriber contest. This is um, a contest entry for my good buddy, Metal Marty Mac, top bloke. Um, one of the top people on the VC here. Really, really nice man. I uh, speak to him most days. Um, he's got an awesome collection, really cool channel. I'll link it up, obviously, below. Um... And he's well into his, all the same sort of music as me, pretty much. And he's big into his movies. So his contests obviously had something to do with movies. So I definitely had to do it. I was just waiting till to try and dig through me Blu-rays and DVDs and that to try and find stuff to show. Um, first of all, in the background, we're listening to this. Which is ultimate cult themes. Basically, um, 40 weird and wonderful favourites. Double CD set performed by the London Theatre Orchestra. Uh, disc one is TV hits, um, including stuff like Thunderbirds, The Prisoner, Mission Impossible, Man from Uncle, uh, X Files, Some Other People, Doctor Who, um, Quantum Leap, shit like that. Uh, oh, gosh, pardon me. I burpy these days. Um, this too is the sci-fi and horror zone. Um, I've gone about halfway through and we're going to have stuff like Psycho, The Exorcist, uh, The Thing, Friday the 13th, Pet Cemetery, Salem's Lot, The Howling, Sounds of the Lambs, Nightmare on Elm Street. All good stuff. So there's your movie stuff. Um, right, Marty's contest. Basically, he said he wants to see um, five either band names, album names, or song names that are the same as a movie, and then just show either three of your favourite movies or three of your favourite soundtracks. Well, obviously, I'll take no notice of the fucking single thing anyone says on these contests and make me own stuff up anyway. So instead of five, I've got seven, and then I'm going to show, um, I think, maybe five... Um, movies that are some of my favorite movies but i also have a soundtrack for as well so i'll show you the soundtrack and the movie because things and stuff right <clears throat> let's get on with it first up i've seen quite a lot of people show this movie this is hellraiser this is the original one um now i've seen a couple of people show this movie but show the ozzy osbourne is it no more tears which has the song hellraiser on it um, I'm going to show Motorhead March or Die, which has Hellraiser on it as well as track six. There you go. Hellraiser. Okay. Uh, now, Hellraiser is a track that was written by Ozzy Osbourne, Zach Wilde, and a certain Lemmy. So it appears on the Ozzy album. The Motorhead album, and I believe there's also a 12 inch single with the two of them doing it. But this is the Motorhead one because Motorhead. Um, right, next, uh, we're going for. Yeah, the movie is Bond one. This is Skyfall. And the track. Is off the latest Halloween album, track 12. This is the limited edition slipcase with the extra CD. Track 12 is, in fact, Skyfall, and it's a single as well, and it's fucking great. There you go. Um, next up, the movie is Piranha. That should give you a clue of the song. So, this is the dodgy 3D version, which I say dodgy, it's 
just a proper B movie that's in 3D, so you get 3D boobies. All you people out there that are interested in that sort of thing, if you've got a 3D telly, obviously the song is Exodus. Track. Can I count? Or lead? Six. Bit on it. Exodus Bonded by Blood. A classic ofs. Next. Um, we're going with this box set. The movie is Die Hard. Not about a Welsh bodybuilder. It's one of Blue Shorts' best and a classic Christmas film. Don't let anyone tell you any fucking different. Um, uh, couldn't be bothered getting the album out, so. This is Black Metal. And on the CD, we have a uh, track. A 17. It die Hard. It was a single. It's on the original album. I do have the original 12 inch, but I can't be asked getting it out because my lazy git. This happened to be to hand, so yep. Venom, Die Hard. I'm putting these fucking things, I don't know. Right, next. Classic horror. Yeah, most of these are going to be classic stuff that everybody's heard of. Sorry, I can't be fucking ass digging through all the zombie. See, like, how the films I've got. I'm trying to find album songs. So, yeah, The Exorcist. An absolute classic. That's the back cover. Uh, the cool version. Um, track one. Uh, Seven Churches is obviously The Exorcist. Saw this live a few weeks ago in Manchester. And they were fucking awesome. Play The Exorcist. Very cool. Um, next up, uh, the movie is Sin City. This is a DVD because I've got it on Blu ray. Excellent movie. Novel, uh, Rob Rodriguez, Excelente. Um, track is off this ACDC Power Age album. It's track number five, and it's also one of my favourite DC tracks. Sin City, Lovely Jubbly. And the last of the seven, not five. Surely should have gone to six for six hundred subs. Anyway, that's why I'm. Uh, the movie is a fucking classic as well. John Calvin does the thing. The ones that came to mind straight away with this contest. The album is Hell Unleashed by Evil, the last one. Not this new one that's come out. I haven't heard that yet. Uh, side B, track 6, as you can probably see, The Thing, 1982, which is all about the movie, so that's even better. Not just a title that happens to be the same, it's actually about the movie, so yeah, that's a vile. Quite a nice gatefold as well. It's called a vinyl. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Just lodge it off, obviously. Sorry, mate. Um, yeah, that's so that's all the the first part of the contest. The second part was um, your favourite movies or soundtracks. Um, I've gone both, and I've gone five instead of three because reasons, things and stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, first up, the movie is Lost Boys. This is actually the first 4K Blu-ray I bought. 
that's an awesome movie. I couldn't find my uh, original DVD or Blu-ray, which I've got them on both. But you know. Lost Boys. Um, there's the soundtrack. Um, I have somewhere got a um, a dodgy um, CD, double CD, which has got this on it, but it's also got the score, which somebody's nipped off the off the blue layer or something like that, but I can't fucking find it. I'll I've got this on uh, cassette as well from back in the day because I love this movie. And the soundtrack's pretty good too. Um, yeah. Probably best tracks on here. Uh, Play Little Sister. People are Strange by Bunny Men. The Doors cover is awesome. Yeah, just just brilliant. So that's Lost Boys. Uh, next up we have The Clo. Oh, another of my favourite movies of all time. Just awesome. Brandon Lee's Swan Song. Um here's the soundtrack which is quite iconic now I think um, best tracks on here obviously um, The Cures Burn Nine Inch Nails with Dead Souls fucking awesome song um, what else is good on here uh, Jesus and Mary Chains Nate Driver's cracking song um, obviously Stone Temple Pilots Big Empty um, Rage Against the Machine's Darkness is good. Ron's Band, Ghost Rider, uh, Helmets, Milk Toast, uh, even Panto the Badge is pretty cool as well. Yeah, good shit. Okay. But, bonus hit for you. Um, also got the actual score, which is really cool. I don't know if you can see it, if it shows that it's um, embossed. You just feel like the hand coming out of the grave and the Eric Draven name and the cross thing and the, the co itself is all embossed and the name is like shiny on the back. It's uh, you can see the name sort of the co itself is embossed. So this is really cool. This is um double album. Just just as I said it's got extra stuff that uh, With it as well, I love that. Good sweet movie poster for that. Which is very cool. Uh, Glam the Bell, sort of uh, talking about it. Excellent movie. So, um, I still got, I should have my favourite movie all time, last, um, next up, that's a double pack, I do love uh, True Romance, I think it's awesome, I don't have the soundtrack for it, uh, Natural Bone Colours is one I'm going to show, because I've got the soundtrack, Natural Bone Colours, um, this is obviously, um, Music from and inspired by Natural One Killers and all of a stone film. Uh, now, this is um, Trent Lesnar, produced by Trent Lesnar from Nine Inch Nails. Um, really cool. Let's try to it. So, there's this like loads of sound bites from the movie, and if you've not seen it, I suppose. Serial Killers, Nicky and Mallory. They were fucking good. Awesome movie. Very trippy and weird and shit. But... Yeah, got some good shit in it. It's got Shitless by L7. Um, Leonard Cohen. 
Patty Smith, Cowboy Junkies, Bob Dylan, and Nine Inch Nails, obviously. Really good. Excellent stuff. So that's Natural Bone Killers. I went to see it, me and Mrs. Knight went to see it at the cinema when it first came out. Midnight showing in Lexham at the. What the fuck was that cinema called? I don't know. I'm sure I'll come to me. When I'm doing something else. Um, second to last. Spawn. A lot of people think it's shit. They're long. It's fucking gay. I'm a big Spawn fan. Um, I've got quite a few Spawn graphic novels and shit. Great movie. Comic book. It's obviously not great compared to, I don't know, fucking... Some of the Marvel movies, but for the time, it's great. Um, this is my um, Lomo soundtrack album. It's on the album. I'm sure someone like Marty himself showed this album. So I got this off a mate of mine who's a DJ. This is quite weird. It's got basically um, metal bands and drum and bass, dancey, weirdy sort of shit. So you've got um, Filter and the Crystal Method, Melon Manson and the Sneaker Pimps, Orbital with Kirk Hammett, yes. That Kirk Hammett and that Orbital. Um, Corn and the Dust Brothers, Bottle Service and Moby, Metallic and DJ Spooky, Stabbing Westwood and Josh Wink, uh, Manson and H08 State, Prodigy and Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. Uh, Silverchair and Vitro, Vitro, Henry Rollins and Goldie, looking how that's a combination. Uh, Incubus and DJ Greyboy and Slayer and the Atari Teenage Riot. Uh, oh, we've also got Soul Coffee and Money Size. Slayer track's great. It's good shit. I like it. Most people in the world hate it. Fuck off. And you, Marty, you can fuck off as well because you didn't like it either. I think it's great. I think, but I like a lot of that. Sort of shit, so. And last but not by no means least, my favourite movie of all time and always will be. Hang on a minute. Get the um, tumbleweed out. I'm supposed to get this out, but I fucking forgot. Because I'm not. Right. Here's my uh, VHS. Star Wars box set. And my favourite movie of all time is this one. Star Wars. Uh, as you can see back in the day, it wasn't called Episode 4 or New Hope or any of that bollocks. It was just called Star Wars. My dad took me to see this in 1977 when it came out. Uh, I was 10 years old and it fucking blew me away. Awesome movie. Always will be in your favour. It's a little booklet you think showing all the toys and shit that are available, I think. Got a bit of a, about it, got a special edition. Nice a few toys, look at that, classic stuff. He takes you back. So yeah, this is um as it says, uh, bought this off eBay. Um, this is the despecialized Blu-ray version, the original theatrical the construction so it hasn't got all the um i've got this um and the turn of the jedi and empire i got the three of them on the despecialized one so they haven't got any of the extra special um uh, bits that were added so it's just the original versions it's cool that the movie poster this one i've got a little postcard thing which is cool so yeah star wars is my Favourite movie of all time, episode 4 if you fucking want, and you hope if you want, but Star Wars and it'll always be. It was just a perfect movie start to end for me. So yeah, um, oh yeah, you wanted the soundtrack, right, I think it's the... I haven't got um, a Star Wars soundtrack as such, so this is a soundtrack, it's composed by John Williams, um, obviously. This is the saga from all episodes 1 to 6. Um, but track 8 is Star Wars A New Hope. It's obviously fun. From Star Wars. Um, got the Imperial March on here as well. And the 
getting two new bands, so it's cool. Yeah, follow this battle, Jewel of Fates as well. It's alright, it's um, it was quite cheap for soundtracks, it's on clear vinyl. It's quite nice. Yeah, I, I, I need to pick up um, um, the, the score, the Star Wars, I do hope, episode 4 score, and probably some of the others as well, but I haven't got them, so that will have to do you. Uh, I hope that's all right for you, Marty. I went on for about four fucking hours, sorry about that. I've got another bloody video to record, maybe two, I don't know. Anyway, jeez, motherfuckers. Uh, you guys take care. Obviously, check out Marty if you haven't. Um, I'll chat in the comments, see what your favourite fucking movies and soundtracks, and um, tell me how much you agree with me about my choices and that sort of thing. Or not. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Laters. May the force be with you.